Egg Supery is the creator of the Our Thoughts Will Follow AU and an excellent artist. <laughs> In your words, what is Our Thoughts Will Follow? It's an Amori AU that is a YouTube series. And it takes place post-truth, and it's the normal route ending, but there's, like, no visible disappearance of some things, like, in the secret ending when you water Basil's plants. There's also no universally loved achievement, meaning that, like, Sonny hasn't reached, uh, he hasn't reached out to anyone in town either. So, like, a short summary would be Sonny moves away, and it takes place on his 19th birthday, um, which is the day that he planned to commit suicide, but his friend surprised him for his birthday. And by the end of chapter one, Sonny's new something sucks, uh, sorry, Sonny's new something sucks all of them up into the floor, and they're all transported to Headspace, but Sonny is separated. So the gang has to hunt for him throughout Headspace. And that's basically it. Our Thoughts Will Follow is an interesting name choice. I'm guessing it comes from the white orchid meaning in Amori, as well as having a double meaning in the cast literally following Sunny into his dream world. Did you have any other names you considered for your series? Um, originally, it was just going to be like, my thoughts will follow you into your dreams, but I was like, that's a bit too long. So then I was just thinking my thoughts will follow because it was originally just supposed to be Basil. But I thought, like, Basil would need more support going through Headspace. Like, honestly, I don't know if he could have done it alone. So I changed it to Our Thoughts Will Follow. In Omori, it's left ambiguous if there's anything supernatural going on. What made you decide to drift from this in your story? I just love supernatural themes in general. And I wanted to, like, experiment with that. So that's why I made this AU to really, like, dive into that theme, basically. And I'm having, like, a lot of fun with it. Are there any characters in Omori that haven't appeared in the AU yet that you're looking forward to appearing? I think I was going to introduce Stranger, probably. Uh, a little more down the line, but I will see. But yeah, probably Stranger. Will there be any world resets in our thoughts will follow? Um, the thing is, like, uh, Headspace is currently kind of falling apart because of Sunny's mental health also falling apart. So it'll probably be reset, like, once to be honest, but like one big reset. The way you use audio in your videos is pretty good. How did you learn that? I just like a lot of instrumentals from a lot of like anime and different stuff. And I just slap it into my videos, to be honest. Uh, yeah, that's, that's basically it. <laughs> I feel like you've also used some sound effects sometimes. Yeah, I do. Um, I take that from, like, maybe, like, like I'll look up something like anime sounds or something or, like, door closing sound and other stuff on YouTube. And then I just, like, put that in. The character Q&A has voice acting for the characters. Do you plan on having any future videos be voice acted? I was thinking, like... Probably, like, one more Q&A video, like, either right before the end of Our Thoughts Will Follow or, like, um, like as soon as it's over. But um, some of the voice actors are also, like, some of my closest friends, uh, like Ibis, who voices Basil. Uh, he, he's been in my videos, like, four times. So, yeah, um... Though, like, some of the voice actors might appear on my channel here and there, but yeah, it'd be fun if I can, like, get them all in again. Will you ever make a visual novel or graphic novel? Like, for Our Thoughts Will Follow, or just, like, in general? Either. Um, so generally, I think that'd be really fun. I've always wanted to try it. And for Our Thoughts Will Follow, 
originally I wanted to, but I wasn't really done with the story. So I was like, eh, actually, no, I'm going to wait. <laughs> so I decided to make it like chapter based, but I kept it as a visual novel format instead. A lot of people enjoy making a use of series they like. What about a use do you think is so appealing? I think it's fun because you're able to put like your own spin on things and like expand the story if you want. And that's why I like my AU so much, I think, because I wish I could get like more out of like the post-truth ending. So yeah. Are there any other AUs or Omari fan series that you're paying attention to? There's like two or three that I like really like. Two of them are from my friends. So one of them is like the E. Mori uh, AU by Shrimperini and um, uh, the Omari Posa AU by my friend Mad No Post. And the third one would be Little Mari AU by Zip Sons. I think they're all really cool. They can all be found on like Instagram and also Twitter. What's your favorite moment in the game? I'd probably say the truth segment because like I just thought the big reveal was like really cool and also insane but it was like really well done and heartbreaking and another thing would probably be black space because that part really freaked me out but I am a huge fan of horror elements so You've made it very clear multiple times that Basil is your favorite character. But who is your favorite character not from the main cast? I think the Maverick and Mincy. I like them a lot. You've mentioned that you first found Omori through Shezb's Pure Imagination video, which uses part of the original Omori Boy comic. Omori has changed a lot since then. Is there anything in the game that was different than you expected it to be? I did not expect, like, the plot twist at the end. So probably that. But I love the story a lot. That's why I draw so much of it. <laughs> the Kaipirina animation meme is over 15 years old at this point. What made you choose to animate Basil to it? It was like a popular animation meme quote unquote um from like the 2000s and i was like obsessed with it and i was like one day i'm gonna make one of these i swear i will and i did with my favorite character it was just funny that was really it i just did it to do it will we ever pay homage to any other old animation memes maybe like I don't know if you know this one. It's not really like a meme, but it was this video called like Overdrive or something. They're like, oh, Overdrive. Oh, oh, one right. Yeah, that one. Yeah, by I-O-S-Y-S. I was going to redo that with Omori probably soon. Omori has some obvious influences from older RPGs like Earthbound, Yumaniki, and more. Have you ever looked into these? I love Earthbound, probably like my top five favorite games. I just love the Mother series in general. I actually never played Yume Nikki, but I do like the soundtrack a lot, and I'd like to get into it. What's your favorite Cookie Run character? Cookie Run? Um, man, I have not touched that game in like a year, so I have to look it up again. I like, like, that one vanilla god cookie, I forgot his name. He's like blonde hair, not hair, but yeah, <laughs> he's like really hard to get. I don't know if you know who I'm talking about. Pure vanilla cookie? Yeah, him. I like that one. What do you think about Serial Experiment Slane? I love it a lot. <laughs> I last watched it in like 2020 over like quarantine and I was like obsessed with it and I have like a lane shirt that I still wear like a lot <laughs> but yeah great show highly recommend what is your proudest achievement probably 
honestly, making a project this big, I feel like I haven't put in such, like, extreme effort into anything like I did with this. Like, I just produced, like, a 43-minute episode, and I'm like, dang, I did all that by myself in a month. So, yeah. Have you ever visited a cat cafe? Yes, actually. I've been to one, like, probably, like, four times. There's one, like, in the city by me, and I go there a lot because <laughs> they're so cute. And last question. We kind of sped through this. <laughs> Do you have anything you want to say? If you're here from my channel, uh, thank you so much for watching my AU and enjoying it. And same goes for my art generally as well. Your support really means a lot to me. And I also want to thank the voice actors along with my closest friend who've helped in the Q&A because you're all really awesome. And shout out to my best friends, Suki, Ibis, JB, and Mad. I love y'all. And lastly, thank you for interviewing me, ITR. Um, this was really cool. Thank you for the thanks.